So the question is, when is an eternal flame not eternal? And the answer to that is coming right up. Hi again folks, Rick from the Boondocking Bears with another episode in my series of interesting historical places hidden in plain sight. So I'm here in London, Ontario, in the heart of southwestern Ontario. Now London is an affluent college town known mostly for its outstanding university and had offices for many elite insurance companies. The university's medical sciences program, combined with its major hospital, provides world-class treatment and enjoys a well-earned reputation for research in the medical community. But it is this building behind me that brings me here to London. The home behind me is the birthplace of insulin. And as we know, it's the life-saving drug used around the world to treat diabetes. It was discovered by Canadian Dr. Frederick Banting in 1921 here in this house that served as his medical office, his research lab, and his personal home. In 1923, Dr. Banting was awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine, but only accepted it when his research partner, Dr. Charles Best, was also recognized. And in 1934, Dr. Banting was knighted by the King of England, becoming Sir Frederick. Today, this building is the Banting House National Historic Site of Canada and headquarters of the Canadian Diabetes Foundation. And beside it, here is the Frederick Banting Square. In 1989, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, dedicated the square and lit this eternal flame of hope. A time capsule was also sealed into the base. Now the flame will burn and the capsule remains sealed until a cure for diabetes is found. So the Canadian government has established an endowment trust so that when that cure is found, the scientists, researchers, and doctors discovering the cure, regardless of where they are in the world, will be flown here and given the honor of extinguishing the flame forever. So folks, we all know someone suffering from diabetes and they are with us today because of the wonderful work done here in this building almost a century ago. So it just continuously astonishes me the wonderful history in front of us here in plain sight. Thanks for watching.